a debate over what kids and teens should have access to in public libraries. Now the president of the Louisiana Association of School Librarians is weighing in. Elise Corville has more. There's a Senate bill that passed through the legislature restricting the access of children and teens to certain public library books unless they have their parents' permission. For Amanda Jones, it's a disturbing trend. Attempts to ban books from libraries continue to rise at an unprecedented level across the country. The American Library Association reported 1,269 attempts to censor library books and resources in 2022, which um, is the highest number, almost double the previous year, and is the uh, highest number that they've reported since they began um, collecting data on censorship 20 years ago. Jones is the president of the Louisiana Association of School Librarians, but even young students are noticing the change. Sisters Zora and Jayla Gabriel say they are seeing targeted topics come off their library shelves. Books that focus on LGBTQ, racism and, and sex education, all of which are very important for real life. Things such as LGBTQ, um, racism, and sexual knowledge, um, just things you need to know, um, they just keep getting banned. The 12 and 13 year old sisters agree this constant back and forth of banning and or censoring certain books could hinder education and knowledge of real world topics. I think they should just, you know, just stop or end it because honestly, there's some stuff that we might need in there. It's restricting knowledge from kids who may need it. Um, not everyone has access to a computer at home, and books have been the main source of learning for a long time now. The state Senate approved a proposal that would limit children's access to certain library materials. Senate Bill 7 would require libraries to create a card system so parents could prevent their children from checking out books deemed inappropriate. Bills like SB 7 are unnecessary. Most library systems we already have tiered library card systems. We already have separate sections for children and adults. Jones calls the bill a solution in search of a problem and says it could be detrimental for smaller libraries. They're not going to be able to handle this financially, the whole uh, revision of their library card system, and I'm afraid they're going to lose funds in an already underfunded library system. Mom of three, Brittany Bourgeois, says she is against banning content from libraries, but would welcome some restrictions. A cover of a book and the words inside of it are sometimes completely different. Um, as a parent, you glance at a book and you think, oh, it's okay, and we're busy. We're busy as parents, so we don't always know exactly what's in them. If the legislation becomes law with the governor's signature, library users would be able to request that a library reconsider whether certain materials should be included in any collection accessible to minors. And Senate Bill 7 currently sits on the governor's desk just waiting his approval. All right, Elise, thank you. Appreciate it. Right now, school leaders in Ascension Parish.